Hi guys, Lily here. I am a now full-time reseller on mostly Poshmark, some eBay. I don't do a whole lot on eBay because most of the stuff that I list is new with tags, um, but now I am ventured out into uh, more rescue boxes from ThreadUp, which is what we're going to talk about today. And also Jomar, I've got some OCPR boxes coming from them. So I'm going to start listing more on eBay, and I'll tell you why. Something happened this morning. Um, I got my first email from Poshmark. Now most of you, I want to talk about that first because most of you I know don't watch my videos all the way through because I'm a nobody, um, unedited videos, raw, what, whatever. But they removed one of my listings this morning. The reasoning was for it being fake possibly counterfeit and to protect the community from purchasing something that was not authentic. They couldn't authenticate it. Well, okay. Where is it? It is. I got it in my boutique box from B&G Trading. Um, no fault of theirs because l literally this is not fake. It is a t-shirt a vintage t-shirt from Chaser um, that retails for $60 and I have it listed for $25. Come on guys, really? What is it? So now I have this supposedly mark on my, uh, I, I don't know even know who can see it, but they said, oh don't worry, it will fall off in 30 days. Well, I, I research and research and research. I spend hours researching everything before I list it. Um, I don't know. I don't understand. Help me help me out here. Help me, you know, I, I appealed it and I sent them the link, link from the Federal Trade Commission on the company with the RN number and who knows? What is it? Is it just fellow poshers um, that have nothing better to do than go through listings? And I mean, this is just, it's an authentic piece of clothing and it's a $25 t-shirt. Really? I just burned my butt. I'm sorry. Okay, ran over. Um, this video is, let's get to the positive, because I got my thread up box um, yesterday, and I put a little blip on there <laughs> saying I wanted to open it, but I wasn't going to open it, and I might peek. Well, I peeked. I peeked, and I cleaned, and I laundered, and I researched. So, yes, I did go through it. I apologize, but... You know how it is. Can't wait. Just can't wait. So I bought the 25 item uh, thread up rescue box women's for $60 and $5.99 shipping. So that came out for me. Well, I actually got 28 items and not 25 items, which was really nice of them. Thank you. And so my cost of goods only came out to $2.45 per piece. Well, the first I have on one pieces, and yes, I already laundered it. I don't know about you guys, but um, I cannot stand the smell of thrifted clothes. And, you know, some of them in this box were thrifted always, but um, I can't stand the smell of it, so if it's washable, I'm going to wash it. Um, also, I think when people send their items into thread up, they don't even... Uh, wash them. There's food on them. There's stains on them. Not all. Just just a couple. Um, nothing that you know we don't normally deal with. Whenever we get these boxes, we got to do that stuff. But anyway, um, <laughs> good note. On a good note, the things that did have stains, then I was able to launder. Um, everything came out, so I ended up with a very good box. But you will see for this. This shirt here was in the box. It's a free people. Nothing wrong with it except for it smelled like a thrift store, like a Goodwill. And I don't like that. So it's washed and it's clean. And I'm keeping this one for me. So that was a good deal. This. So I'm going to start going through the box now. This is a Mark by Mark Jacobs size 4 skirt. This. I laundered. What's up with them lights? I'll tell you what. I did launder this because it had 
it looked like ink stains on this pocket but now to the naked eye it is it's gone so it's perfectly good skirt it's got nice um, back pockets it's got front pockets um, it's a cute little elastic on the sides help you out a little bit with lace very nice. I like that one. Move this out of the way. And this is an also probably another piece that I'm going to keep. It's a VICI size medium. It's a distressed sweater. And it looks like um, confetti to me, but look at the intentional distressing on that. God forbid I list this and somebody says, oh my God, it's all torn up well it is supposed to be that way anyway i think it's adorable and i think i'm going to keep this for my personal closet as well because this box is so good i can afford to do that and here we have just a loft extra large soft t-shirt kind of cropped this did have a little hole right here um, so I'm not going to list that. Um, I'll go ahead and put that in my drawer, do yard work, or just bounce around in the summer. This is a very nice dress. This is Simply Vera by Vera Wang, size 10, 100% polyester, and it's lined. And you know what? I'm going to stand up, I think, for the rest of this video. Nice pleating to the skirt. It's got this nice embellishments on the waistline. I didn't see any flaws on this. Kind of interesting though, the darts, let's be my hair, the darts in the breast line are inverted. It's kind of neat. Nice little dress. And let's see. Let's just do this because. I know you can see my heater. It says 79, but it's not 79 degrees in here. We're in the middle of an ice storm. And it's going to get worse before it gets better. Turn this chair around to get it out of my way. Here we have a fashion to figure, size 3. This is a very, also a very nice top very sheer it's got a little V in the front and I'm assuming this tie you can wrap around your neck or leave it loose that's a nice piece this needs to be cleaned I can't remember if this was dry clean or wash this is a blue and gray extra large knit sweater dress. That's very nice. Zipper back, long sleeves. Here we have a J. Crew size six navy blue co polka dot coconut polka dotted um, pleated skirt very nice this was in excellent condition oh I can't get over that email from Poshmark that this morning I just burned my butt I was getting ready to do a video and I thought well my email dinged in and I was like what this is a loft size 14 fully lined very nice black and white dress. And right at the knee. This does have some makeup on the back. I don't know if they wore it backwards or what, but there's none on the collar, but it is on the back of where the zipper is. I think I can clean that up. And here we have a Michael Michael Kors size six. All right really like this dress and this off this has a little bit of makeup there at the neckline it's got a leather belt 
Even the belt is marked on the inside, Michael Kors, size six. I believe this is dry clean only, so I need to um, research this a little bit. It's got nice darts in the back, very fitted, nice dress. I'll research the comps on these and see if I want to put the bill for dry cleaning on that one. This one was kind of an odd one. I don't know if any of you guys know this brand, but I looked it up and um, Pomelo, it's new with tags, but there's no, there's no size. There's, it's not very well made, I don't think, but it's cute. It's really cute. Nice for office. It is darted, so it's fitted. Um, I'll have to do measurements of this, but I don't know. This is not going to go for very much, I don't think. What I did look up on that, they don't, they're like under $30 retail. Old Navy Pixie. Is this is the ha nice sounds too. It's kind of shiny. Um, crop pants, size 6, I believe. Yeah, size 6. Pockets in the back. Let's see, do they work? They do not. But you do have usable front pockets there. I'm definitely not uppity today after that email. I apologize. Here's an express size double zero fashion skirt. Nothing wrong with that. And I did go through and look through um, all of these for <laughs> injuries. I'll say injuries and staining and stuff. And this is a nice, this is a BCBG. Um, it's just a very nice sweater with a ruffled bottom. And that one's going to be nice. kind of wish this was in my size, but this also... The size tag has been removed, so I believe it's a small. I'll have to measure it. <laughs> okay, I'm getting in a better mood. And here we have an Ann Taylor size 4. Nice black uh, work skirt. Does It's like a wrap. Wrap skirt. I don't think this has ever even been worn by the looks of the way the belt is in here. Um, I don't believe it's ever been worn. Very nice for the office wear. Um, here we have a Ava and Viv black sweater and it's got some little bit of silver threading in it. And it's lightweight, so it's still wearable. We're still in the season. These I did not get washed, um, but there is food or something on them as well. Um, dinky jeans, size two, black stretch, um, regular cut. These are in good shape. I guess I should have buttoned that hard, huh? which show a little bit better. Front pockets, work with front pockets and back. They are nice. It's a nice pair of um, black stretch jeans. They just need to be washed. And here we have an H and M size six fitted blazer in plum. Also very nice. I don't think there was anything wrong with this one. Not my color, but a nice blazer. And here we have a Michael, Michael Kors, size small. Just a navy shirt. I'm wondering, I know these zippers 
probably work. It's one thing I did not check. Yes, they work to where you can show your shoulders if you want to. And it's got this nice ruching at the bottom. Did I say what size it was? Small. That's cute. I'm using my glasses. I did wash this and Taylor. Extra small petite. This is also a very nice blouse. It's got the nice button sleeves. There was a little bit of makeup on here and uh, it came out nicely. I'm trying to save the best for last. <laughs> okay, we have a Banana Republic medium ribbed, fitted ribbed tank. In very nice condition. Doesn't it doesn't look like it's been worn. The tags doesn't look like it's even been washed. Oh, here's a surprise. Look at what we have here. New tags. I did look these up. Let's see, who was it? Boote bag. Um, I guess this is a monthly subscription of panties. Uh, you pay $10 a month and you get a pair of panties in the mail. I'm not going to list these. I'll give, give them away. I think they're size medium. And not my style, but I'll probably give them to somebody. This one looked horrible when it came. This is American Apparel size. I think it's a. All right, let me do this. Small. It's just a lightweight, very low cut. Cropped, long sleeve, soft, soft tee. When I got this out of the box, this whole side, I want to make sure that I get this in the camera because I can see flaws better on the video than I can in person. This whole side looked like it was just covered in grease or oil or something. Grease or oil. I washed it and every bit of it came out just like what I thought were ink spots on that white skirt came out so very happy so what is that one one that I for sure can't sell and I did I did mark them unsellable keeping this and keeping the sweater This is a Vince Camuto extra small, um, <laughs> what do you call this, oh my goodness, I want to say rivet, but it's not rivet, um, all around the neckline, um, I didn't see any stains or mishaps on this. Now, for the prize in my box. I was very happy to get this, and I looked it over, I don't, probably a hundred times. This is an Alice and Olivia maxi skirt. And I believe it's a Louis got it floral. And it's very dry clean only um, very 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 long very flowy fully lined I put this on <laughs> the funny thing about it is I put this on and I swear it's like a foot longer than I am um, but I guess that's the way they're made but inspecting it for like the hundredth time I found a flaw and I, I did already list this and pointed out the flaw. This skirt sells for over, retails for over $500. Um, that's scary. 
nice zipper in the back. Anyway, it looks like it's really hard to find the flaw in this. And matter of fact, when you have it on, uh, you don't see it. You can't even tell. But what it looks like what happened was whoever the lucky lady wearing this was probably sitting down and when she went to stand up, her heel caught the bottom of the fabric of the dress. So it's about, it's less than two inches. It's about an inch and three quarters where um, there's a little rip in the very bottom. You cannot even see it um, when it's on. But I did um, point it out in the listing. So we'll see. Um, I'm sure some, some lady would like to have that even with that little flaw. I know if I had a place to wear it, I would probably, um, it would be a privilege to have that hanging in my closet. And this I need, oh, I forgot the Athletica. No, this was what, yeah, it was. I'm sorry about that. I also got this Athleta size small hoodie zipper in black. And it's got the ruching on the sleeves. It's got the nice cut out to the thumb. Only thing with this is that I need uh, the string came out, but I have it, so all I got, I can I can do that. I can put that in. I'm not a seamstress, but simple things like that I can do. Ooh, and here it is. Now, this is something that has baffled me, so I may just keep this around for a while, because I have no idea. I know it is a spa slash bathrobe slash something, and it is Boca Terry. Now, I did look this up. Um, I could not find one similar, and I could not find one that was 100% linen. It has pockets, very deep pockets. It's very heavy, 100% linen. No belt, no, no place for a belt, so it doesn't even come with a belt. But here, I don't know if you can see see how, oh, oh yeah. sorry, sorry about that, let me just put it on, this is a one size fits all, I love this detail of it, it's got nice wide sleeves, deep deep pockets, yes, deep deep pockets, and it goes to the floor, um, it's not lined. I don't know. I just don't know. So if any of you, ouch, there goes my fingernail. I just busted another one. If any of you know what this is or what possibly I could list it for. And see, this is on the, on the back side, on the inside. I don't know if you can see this heavy fabric area here. It's open, but it's not open on the back. This is so big I can't even hardly hold it. Um, anyway, if any of you have any ideas on what I could possibly list this for or do I need to keep this for myself when I ever get me another house with a big old jacuzzi tub and I can use it myself. Anyway, um, that is it for this thread up box. It's an excellent box. I'm over the moon with this box, more so than the last box, and I was happy with the last box. This is my fourth box. Um, and I don't understand, I watch a lot of videos, and everyone is really concerned about where their boxes are coming from. All four of my boxes have come from Pennsylvania or Philadelphia. Philadelphia, they're coming from Philadelphia. And I don't know if that makes a difference. I hear people saying they got from Georgia, they get 
you know, all, all different places. So all four of mine have come from Philadelphia. So I don't know. If you can tell me more about that, I, I would be thankful for that too. But all my boxes have been good from um, Philadelphia. And that is it. I'm happy with this box. I'm very happy. I'm more than one item in here is more get, than paid for the box and then some. So I'm very happy and I will order again. This is, like I said, my fourth box. Not into shoes, not into handbags. I don't, I don't have patience for um, cleaning that stuff. I don't mind doing a little bit of laundry, but um, cleaning shoes and handbags is just not my thing. And after my email this morning, I'm not going to even consider putting a purse or a pair of shoes on Poshmark that have to be authenticated like my $25 t-shirt. So I would like to any more information about that if anybody knows anything. And sorry I'm stumbling, but I came in here to do the video and my phone went off and I got that email and I've just been flustered ever since. So um, I will link that... Um, or I'll, I'll copy and paste the link in the description and see what you guys think. I mean, it's just a company out of Houston that sells only that brand. So I don't know. I don't like having bad marks anywhere. I don't know who can see the marks. I don't know who's doing it. I mean, there's millions of listings on Poshmark. Why that $25 shirt that isn't even... Um, counterfeit or a fake. It's just a t-shirt. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I'm really happy about this box. I'm going to get to listing uh, a few of these items today. Like I said, I already listed this really nice skirt. The maxi skirt. And go from there. I'm looking forward to a few more boxes that are on their way. And I'm looking forward to probably listing a lot more on eBay because I'm mad. I shouldn't be mad. I know I shouldn't be mad, but I'm a perfectionist and I research a lot and it just really bothered me that they did that. So we'll see what the appeal says. I'll keep you informed on what the appeal is um, and we'll go from there. So I hope you watch, watch this video. If you did, um, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, send me an email. Um, yeah, it's raw, and they're going to stay raw for a while because this is how I make my money, not YouTube. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Lily out.